Hey, so if you're training your glutes and you want a rounder, stronger, firmer rear end, there's three glute training barriers that you have to pay attention to. In this video, I'm sharing with you the first barrier. Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Coach Brian, strength coach and functional movement specialist here with criticalbench.com. I'm also the creator and author of Unlock Your Glutes. Hey, so the glute complex. We love talking about the glutes. We love training the glutes. We love telling you to work on your glutes. But there's three barriers that you have to pay attention to. In this three-part series, I'm going to cover the three barriers that you have to pay attention to if you want a rounder, stronger rear end. So the first barrier is simple. People squatting and deadlifting. Okay, I'm not here to bash the squat or the deadlift by any means because they're some of the best exercises on the planet. However, if you're focusing on glute training here, I'm talking about just glutes, just glutes, okay? Squats and deadlifts are not the answer. They're not the best exercise. They're probably not even the top 10 best exercises. Number one is the hip thrust. That's, I mean, we, we've talked about that. We've covered that exercise in so many videos and in so many reports. But what you need to pay attention to is that squats and deadlifts aren't the answer. They're not one of the answers. They do help, but they're quad dominant. They're hamstring dominant. They're lower back dominant. Sure, you're gonna hit the glutes a little bit, but again, if you're focusing on glutes only, hip thrust is king. Squats and deadlifts are kind of low on the totem pole. So when you're using this in your in your program, say, you know, saying, hey, I wanna do a leg day. Okay, well, you wanna do a quad hamstring day. Then you wanna do a glute day. Quad and hamstring day is definitely a day you want to do squats and deadlifts. Hip thrusts and all the other glute specific exercises are on the glutes day. That's it. That's your number one training barrier. If you overcome this and focus on glute specific exercises, I guarantee you're going to get that rounder, stronger rear end in no time.